Hunter, what did you think of the reaction from the fans and and what did you think of the game in general and the reaction of the fans to you? Um, I mean, it was pretty expected. Uh, playing in the Big Ten for three years, um, they kind of were, were familiar with me. But I think the game was really good um, for us, uh, just to be able to get a test on the road um, before the season starts to get all the new guys, um, all the freshmen, um, up to speed on what it's like to play, um, you know, high major college basketball. But I think it's just good for the team because, you know, we're a new team, uh, a lot of new pieces that are trying to mesh together. So I think, you know, being able to play a really good team on the road uh, was a good first test for us. Hunter, how would you describe your relationship with Illinois fans? Uh, you know, I think it's um, that's a good question. Shit. Um, uh, you know, it's a you know, I think I think there's a I don't even uh, I can't give you a good answer right now. I'm sorry. Hunter, you played against Illinois a couple of years. How do you compare this team versus some of the ones that they've had in the past? Um, this team, you know, feels really connected. Um, I feel like they play really well together. <clears throat> I think Coach Underwood's got a good squad um, that, you know, should be able to make some noise in the Big Ten. Kate, oh, that's loud. KJ and Hunter, do you guys feel like you learned anything uh, about your team tonight? Yeah, a lot. There's a bunch of little things that we can um, fix during the season. We're going to have some tough practices coming up because of this, uh, some of the mistakes we did down the road. and first part of the game, but I think this is a great learning experience, especially to start a good exhibition game against a really good team, and I think we're going to learn from it and do good from now on. Hunter, for you personally, what are the what are the main areas that you're going to look to improve based on this game? Um, I think defensively, um, obviously, I, I know I didn't, a good, did, I didn't do a good job out there. Um, I might have scored the ball well, but if you give up just as many points as you score, you're not really helping your team out, so I know I need to do better defensively. Hunter, you mentioned the freshmen. How did you feel like Jamari and El Marco did uh, here? Uh, they did fine. Obviously, you know they're not going to play perfect their first game, um, but you know the, you can see the potential that they have, uh, and I think we have the coach that will bring it out of them. Um, you know they're super talented, and it, it's just a matter of getting them up to speed on playing um, high division one basketball. I know when I was a freshman a couple years ago, um, you know it was an adjustment period, but you just keep staying with it, keep staying. Um, aggressive and just trying to fit in and, and, and you'll do good. I think they have that mentality. KJ, what was it like out there? I mean, it's an exhibition game. Did it feel like that at all? No, not at all. It was it was a fun environment. Um, I, f I feel like the fans showed out for them. and I feel like it was a great, um, I guess, test and just a good away environment for us to be. So I think it was pretty fun. Obviously, we didn't come with the final result like we wanted, but it was a, it was a fun game and it was a great time to learn. KJ, what was the problem with them shooting in so many threes compared to you guys? Nine to three, I think, or whatever. Uh, can you ask that again? What did you think of your three-point defense? Um, obviously, we didn't do as well as we wanted to, but those are little things we can tighten up during the next practice. Hunter, you're pretty familiar with Terrence. What did you see from him tonight and how his game's grown? Uh, I mean, he definitely came out aggressive. Um, I mean, he scored 28 points, obviously. Uh, he was really feeling it. But we got to do a better job of uh, not letting him you know, get so comfortable early on in the game. I think we get, um, myself gave him a couple too many easy looks off the pick and roll. And I think that really um, got him going. And so once you got a good player like that, uh, feeling himself and feeling it out there, uh, he, can, he can be hard to stop. But um, we got to do a better job of helping out the guy guarding him and, and really um, making him beat not just him, but also us as a whole. Well, first of all, they've done a magnificent job with the renovation. It looks great. And, and uh, what uh, Josh and his staff have done from a facility standpoint is so impressive. The oven is off the chain. Uh, uh, it was good to walk in, but it wasn't emotional. Not at all. Uh, 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 would it have been 15 years ago? Yes. But there's enough water on the bridge. I've had enough stuff happen and real life episodes and events go on to make, you know, a, a departure from an institution uh, uh, not seem quite as big a deal as what I thought it was in real time. So, so, uh, but it was great. I thought, I thought, I thought it was a, a, a 
good atmosphere. I think uh, uh, I was actually very happy that this game will prepare us moving forward because there's a lot of things that happen in this game that will happen a lot in our future games. And so I thought this was really good for us. Bill, what did you learn about these teams? Uh, you know, obviously both very good teams. You see these teams as being like, how much do they have to grow? Over well, we got a long ways to go. We're not close. We 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 haven't figured out who we're going to play yet. Uh, we got we got little depth. We got a kid hurt, but we got a little depth, and we knew that going in. Uh, uh, so so we we've got some issues where our margin for error isn't as high as what it's been maybe in some years past. And the guys that play need to play well. And in you know, like the way Kevin McCullough played today and Terrence played today. You you hope you bottle that, but there's no guarantee Terrence is going to shoot it like that or Kevin's going to score the ball like that every game. You got to have other people step up. You know, uh, Hunter got numbers, but he didn't play, and, and like he's capable of playing. Uh, uh, I thought Hawkins had a terrific game and was the difference because he was the the guy that we couldn't match up with. But 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 uh, and, and, and off ball screens and things like that. But uh, Brad's going to have a really good team. Brad's team's going to get better. I like the pieces, and they have enough depth, and they got fouls that they can give inside. There, there's a lot of positive things about Brad's team, uh, and their and, and their men for the most part. I think there will be positive things about my team. I don't think that I see them quite from a competitive standpoint yet. Uh, uh, you give up, eight, you know, let's just call it like it is. If Brad comes to Allen Fieldhouse and he gives up 82, the Illinois is probably not winning. If we come up here or go anywhere and give up 82 on the road, you're not going to win. So our mindset isn't what it needs to be to be a good team yet. But that's what this game was for, to help us with that. So, Coach, I just wanted to ask, uh, how was it meeting with some of your former Illini players tonight? Uh, oh, it's always good seeing those guys. You know, I'm on text threads with those with those guys. uh, uh, uh quite often so so uh it's not i wish there would have been more that came back i think there was probably eight or nine that were here uh uh it was good seeing those guys uh, uh sean flew in from florida of course lucas drove down um and then of course uh, joe and nate drove up and and uh serge and griff and those guys uh were there the one i was probably most excited to see though was frank uh, uh, Frank was a bad boy. And the best thing that happened that Frank told me today was he got his degree. So that kudos to him. And, and that, that was that, – that's special. That, that after all this time, it meant enough for him to go back and get his degree. And Illinois, I'm sure, did everything they possibly could to help him with that. But now he's got himself and his son, both college graduates from the University of Illinois. That, to me, that's cool. You mentioned finding yourself in situations that, that the team will be in throughout the season. Just what were some of those key situations that stood out to you from this game? Uh, late clock. Uh, how are we going to guard ball screens? Uh, who's going to be a rim protector? Pick and choose when we run uh, rather than run every possession. Uh, ball and body movement. We can get real stale real fast. Which I thought I actually thought we executed some stuff pretty good, considering they didn't have to defend the arc, and we still got a lot of easy shots second half. Uh, uh, so I thought we did some good things. Uh, uh, I also think the the uh, the fan interest when Hunter has the ball, I think was great tonight because I think that's going to happen at other places too. So he he, he needs to feel that. And so so uh, I think there's a lot of things that happened today that were good for us. Coach, one more way back question. What do you remember about your last game here? I was told earlier, last game here, I think we played Minnesota. Correct. Sean Harrington Senior Day. Uh, 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 and Sean, if I'm not mistaken, may have been the only senior on that team. Because uh, uh, that team was young, D. Darren Luther, Roger, and, and James, and, and all those guys. But uh, I don't really remember that game. Uh, uh, hate to disappoint Sean. I don't remember that game. I remember some other games here that were special. Uh, I, I think the, the the two I would probably remember the most was Seton Hall was loaded. We're down like 17 and a half and come back and win that game. 
And then if you ever got down 12 or 14 to Wisconsin, it felt like 30. And we came back and won that game. Uh, 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 so, so to me, those would be the two that probably stand out to me the most. Bill, do you think charity exhibitions like this could become maybe a yearly thing? I mean, pick a cause. You know. it, it, it should be, uh, uh, in my opinion. Now, now, granted, each year you have to uh, appeal and, and submit a waiver to get it accepted. But with the, as many things that are going on in our world right now and tragedies all, all around us, I, I, I hope that this is something that is available to schools if they feel like they want to do something to do something for others. So, so I, I hope so. I think it, it was good the NCAA allowed it. Bill, it didn't seem like an exhibition game in terms of desire to win and the rotations. Did you and Brad talk about that in terms of what it would look like between you guys? He said he wouldn't play zone, and I told him we wouldn't play zone. So, yeah, we talked. And then I called him and said, hey, I'm going to leave you this message. I know you're going to do it. Nobody fouls out. And he called back and left me a message. I should have asked you before, but I've already told everybody nobody fouls out. So so uh, if you guys are mad at me because that was my idea, you're wrong. That was all Underwood's idea on that. So. Bill, what happened when Kevin dove for that ball, and is he injured? I, I think he got some whiplash or whatever, but I don't think he's uh, uh, hurt seriously or whatever. You know, it's a – it's a first game. It's an exhibition game. But, but uh, uh, it got competitive there at the end, which was good. And we kind of jacked around and finally got a stop and made a bad pass on a break. And, and Kevin slipped and ended up going back after the ball. So, y'all, you know, whatever happened, happened after that. But certainly it was some guys playing hard. Bill, here in the back, uh, I mean, when you think back in your time at Illinois, what, what, what was that chapter of your life? What, what are – what was that growth for you in your career? Well, you got to understand, I, 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 I came from Edmond and the mean streets of Edmond, uh, went to Oklahoma State, uh, assistant at Oklahoma State, coached at Oral Roberts, coached at Tulsa. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't left the nest at all. And we're coming to Illinois, and at that time, the public league in Illinois didn't have a very good relationship. And Jay Mariotti and Skip Bayless were your two columnists. So you go from, you know, having beers with everybody that covers you in Oklahoma to that. So it was great learning for me. Uh, 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 I think I grew up more here from a coaching standpoint than I did anywhere I've been just because I had to, and I thought it was great. Bill, how'd you feel about Jamari and El Marco uh, tonight. Well, Jamari didn't get a chance to play. You know, uh, 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 Nick Nick played more, and 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 El Marco played more. I I, I think that they did okay, uh, uh, but that, that that that's not good enough. I mean, you you it, you can't you got to get where they're aggressive and and if if anything, you know, uh, uh, be able to guard their man, you know, and and that stuff. And we certainly didn't do a good job there. You know, to to me. Uh, when you're a newcomer, you know, you know, if you're going to emphasize anything to be good at anything early on, you know, defend, rebound, take care of the basketball. And, and, and uh, I don't think that we do that as well in those spots. Now, if you were scoring enough points to offset that, that's one thing, but we're not going to do that right now. All right, Coach. Thank you. All right, guys. Popcorn is excellent. Got great salt today. Uh, it's a uh, heck of a day. When you raise over a million dollars for a lot of people who need it, and uh, I don't think we should lose sight of the fact that uh, two teams competed awfully hard today, but the real winners are are not here. They're they're in, in Maui and and uh, Lahaina, and and when you lose um, thousands of buildings, thousands, and people lose their lives, and uh, you think about the number of years it will take to replenish um, and, and rebuild, um, to me, that's what this is about. And we, we all get wrapped up in, in the moment. But um, today was, a, today was a, a, a really positive day. I want to thank our fans, uh, their fans. Uh, you know, thank Bill for, for wanting to come back uh, to a place that uh, was, was so uh, 
we did a lot of good things. And um, so I'm very appreciative of that. Uh, moving on to the game, uh, obviously, they're ranked where they're at for a reason. Uh, but I thought that it was uh, uh, a lot of teachable moments. I was very, very pleased with our offensive flow the first half. Um, I thought we had difficulty um, at times in the second half. Uh, but uh, both these guys got going uh, from three. We took advantage of some of some ball screen coverages that they had. Uh, you know, I was hoping tonight that you know Coleman might get 23s up. Um, but uh, you know, then Terrence they went under uh, in their ball screens, gave him great, great looks, uh, and then uh, really excited about the start of the second half. From this standpoint, they made their run. They made a run, and and Hunter got going, uh, McCuller got going. We gave them a few gifts um, that way, uh, and then we withstood that. And we got back to playing really good basketball. We had three turnovers late, uh, seven minute mark or so. Uh, those are turnovers we can't have. But we we got a stop or two, and then we ran really good offense. Quincy, I think we had a segment where he was four or four from the free throw line, um, and then we had a big time. He made a big time three on a big time uh, drift play um, that uh, that helped break it open. But uh, um, end of the game we had a lot of a lot of age out there a lot of a lot of experience and uh, I will will say that uh, early in the season you rely on that uh, it's going to be an opportunity for for everybody to continue to grow um, in those areas but uh, uh, you know we were we were trying to learn in those situations and, and experience was was something that I was I think Coleman was the youngest on the court and he's been with us four years so um, but uh, Kansas is a heck of a team. They're going to have a great year, and, and um, you know, we just got to keep being everyday guys and do our job. <clears throat> Coleman, Bill Self made the comment, obviously you weren't here, that you were the guy, you were a tough matchup for him. And hearing that for the first time, what does that mean to you from where you've come as a player, meaning the fact that you were tough for him to guard and for them to scout? Yeah, I think um... – I think it's it, it's exciting to hear that, um, knowing that um, you know this is one an exhibition game and it's October, so going down the stretch, um, it's going to be tough for a lot of teams. You know, not o not only for Coach Self but for a lot of teams. And and two, just knowing you know kind of my value on this team, um, you know what I can bring for this team, and it doesn't always have to do with scoring. You know, it can lead to other opportunities for people to score and creating mismatches so it's it's a it's a it's a it's very exciting to hear that you know especially here in October because uh, we got a long season ahead of us so this is for both you guys I guess with the experience you guys have has that helped your offense maybe be more fluid entering this year versus last year if that makes sense uh, I think so um, I think uh, we still got to do a better job of kind of reading switches uh, creating advantages there knowing when to slip um, knowing when to reject cuts, um, playing in open sides, uh, spacing the floor, knowing when to back cut, things like that. Um, but I, I think definitely because um, we tried to do it last year a little bit um, and uh, we still kind of have some of the sa uh, same similar actions as last year. And um, yeah, it's just kind of getting on the same page too. You know, I, I feel like we're all on the same page here offensively and it's been uh, successful so far and it's only going to get better too so for, for both of you is really competitive for an exhibition game how, how important was the scoreboard in this one and what was the approach going into the game um well every game we play and we want to win and it was we don't we don't go into a game saying oh it's just an exhibition and we need to get through it and see where we're at uh, we're trying to win and and, and be better as a team, um, so we just look at it as a, at it as a learn, just learning from this game and um, looking at the film and just getting better from it. Yeah, I mean, uh, like coach, also like coach was saying, I think the biggest thing was you know knowing um, the value of what what this you know what's coming out of this exhibition game, and uh, you know it was all it's a good feeling you know 
knowing their ranking, whatever. Um, you know, beating Hunter again, he played in this league a long time, but um, I think, like Coach was saying, you know, the true winners are the people in Maui. So just kind of understanding that value as well. For Terrence, like, what do you over here? What do you really enjoy playing with older guys? Like your coach mentioned, after the last media timeout, Coleman was the youngest guy on the floor, and he turns 22 in December. Just what is the benefit, and what do you like about playing with older guys? Uh, I like playing with all guys, but just playing with older guys is just experience on the floor. Um, a lot of guys, they all been in the situations like we were just in at the end of the game, and we just we just been there before, and we can huddle up, and everyone can get their input, and we can. We know how to adjust. Uh, like Coach said earlier, they made the run and we settled in and and we and we handled it. Um, and then we got the lead back and we won the game. So it's it's really good having experience out there on the floor. Terrence, in the first half, how were you feeling? Like, were, were you just in emotion? Were you in a groove with those with those sixteen points? How did you feel in the first half? Uh, honestly, just I just, I got it all within the offense. Um. The the players that's on the court with me, they get me the open shots because they all can shoot. Uh, they're all great players. Uh, Coleman had really good screens, and it's hard to help off him if he's shooting the ball like that and actually taking the shot. So it was, it was really good for us and encouraging him to keep shooting it how he is. And but I got that off from my teammates. Uh, just just playing off them. Coleman, uh, similar question, but how do Marcus, Quincy, Justin, how does playing with them different, or how does it help you and Terrence? Um, I don't, I mean, it's, it's still, still the s same game, really. I mean, I think it's just, we kind of hit the nail on what we wanted to do early, um, offensively, um, and kind of just being a little more kind of structured as far as like what people are going to do. Um, you know, we, we try to play to everybody's strengths. Um, so I think that's really a big thing is just playing to everybody's strengths and, um, we got some really unselfish guys on the team uh, who are willing to, you know, sacrifice, you know, some shots, um, sacrifice, you know, not getting the ball or um, whatever it is to create advantages. You know, um, you know, we run a, a little split action and, and uh, you know, instead of Marcus running to the ball every play, you know, he's cutting back door, forcing a low man to help. And, you know, I'm able to skip to Quincy in the corner for for a, a, a drive and he gets fouled, you know? So it's just like little things like that, you know, they're, they're just really unselfish um, and they create opportunities for everybody. Uh, question for you, Terrence. Uh, so obviously you're a team first guy, but I just got to ask as a competitor, how was it going against uh, your former teammate? Uh, it was good. Uh, uh, I was asked uh, what's going to happen. And obviously we want to get the win, uh, but that's every game, man. Uh, just wanted to get the win, but obviously it was good playing against them and seeing them again. But I just wanted to get the win for the team. Brad, those transfers down the stretch, Justin making a cut to the basket, Quincy going on his run. I mean, from your vantage point, what do they bring to you, especially maybe in crunch time moments? Been there, done that. You know, I mean, and that that's very, very cliche, but it, it's it's. Um, you, you know, you're you're talking about a guy who reads the defense, and Justin makes a great cut. Uh, you're talking about a guy that that um, everybody knows he can make a three, and he rip drives it on the play that Coleman talks about. And and um, you know, there's there's n there's no indecisiveness with veterans and with with older players. And uh, you know, when they've been in that moment, they're not afraid to go make a play. And um, you know, it's 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 comforting for me. That's for sure. And you know, I was curious today to see how they how they how they play, and uh, you know, see veterans step up and make free throws as Quincy did, and uh, you know, putting Marcus on the ball and telling him to you know to handle it, and and because you can't foul him because he's a ninety percent free throw shooter, and um, you know, so it, there's there's a lot of a uh, lot of positives. That come with that. That's not to say that'll always be the case. We got some young guys that are really talented, and um, but it was the it was the five today that happened to work. I guess with that group, I mean, knowing you have 
you know, a bunch of 22 to 24 year olds. I mean, was it your intent like to, for them to be the closers early in the season? Or is that something that's de- no, developed? I, I didn't have a plan. I, you know, you, you go with it early because you, you just, you know, you, you think they've been through it, but it, it, it happened today. Um, you know, and, and so, you know, Luke's been exceptional. Uh, today, Quincy got going. And, and, you know, so it was Quincy's turn. Uh, next game, it may be somebody else's. You know, Terrence had his moment. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, I thought that, that everybody who played did some positive things. It just happened to be those five guys today. Brad, what did you make of the competitiveness of this game? And does that show some maturity that you guys are – competing even though it's an exhibition yeah it's been a big focus it's been it's one of the standards that we've tried to set as being that you know our cliche everyday guy every day Uh, we probably um, have had half of a bad practice our guys are working our guys are are are, it means something to them Um, and it's uh, they're very their attention to detail is very high, but they are very very competitive. There's not a there's not a, anybody in that in our program who's lost, and um, you know so you know you you there you play to win, and yeah we needed to grow. And I played everybody in the first half, and it was a little different the second. But it was it was it was you know every time we play, man, we're we're trying to hook it up. We're competitive in practice. We've worked. A lot of one-on-one. We've played a lot of pickup this summer uh, and fall just to amp the competitive side up. What did you earn in a setting like this that maybe you wouldn't have in a closed setting? Yeah, I mean, how you act with the game on the line and people in the stands and and um, the pressure of that. And I don't want to say, you know, it's obviously – there's no wins or losses in terms of go- going in a column, um, but but it's different, you know, when you're playing in front of a uh, a boatload of fans and, instead of an empty gym, and you know some guys can step up and make shots and some can't, um, you know that's that's the the piece of that, you know you in a scrimmage you you're playing ten minute halves and play four or three or four of them and then throw a 20 minute in and you stop and you coach and you work on situations and t- tonight was very game like obviously uh, but uh, uh, so there, there there's there's a there's a big difference you only had eight assists but it did seem like the ball moved well it was just a lot of attacking closeouts is that what you would attribute that to do it's low. But I, I, I think we're going to be a high assist team. I think we're a team that, that we have spent a ton of time talking about attacking closeouts, uh, trying to get fouled, uh, trying to spray it. Uh, so the assist total will go up. Um, but, um, you know, again, we've got a really good isolation player in, in, in Terrence, and, and he hit a few. Uh, but um, uh, I, turnovers are too high. You know, we we need to be in the ten range. Didn't like the three in a row that we had late in the seven minute mark, but the assist will, the assist will go up. Our ball movement was good. I thought we ran pretty good offense. Coach, how do you, how do you feel that your team defended, especially around the rim and transition defense? Well, I didn't have. Um, I thought Coleman was ex- uh, unbelievable defensively. I, if if you guys know anything about ball screen defense and and help and support, I, Coleman Hawkins was off the chart. I felt so comfortable with him in the game. On that end, um, I, I tried a couple times to take him out, and I was like, gosh darn. One one or two possession game, I said he's just going to have to play. Uh, he's so good. His anticipation is great. Uh, you're not going to stop Hunter totally. But uh, his positioning was good. We jammed his shoulder a few times, um, and uh, he was he was very good. I thought we've got to do a better job of, you know, some simple things. We didn't scout. You know, they hurt us in the first half with a couple pin down screens that uh, we were we were late getting to, and and so they got a couple buckets. They ran a little, um, you know, pocket ball screen play that uh, was unique because it was with their four man with KJ. Um, you know, we, we made an adjustment late and, and ha- then handled it. Um, that'll be stuff we'll, we'll clean up with scouting. Uh, but um, I thought it was solid. Um, I'm still, you know, 
we can't commit silly fouls. I thought we committed too many of those, but we'll continue to work and grow on that in that area. I mean, you talked you know, a few weeks ago about just maybe taking you know fewer threes as you know as a percentage of your total shots. But I mean, are you seeing maybe something from your team where you adjust your thinking on that? I mean, I want good shots. What I don't want is what we did last year. 15 seconds on the shot or 16 or more and shoot a contested three. And that's what I don't want. I, I like seeing the ball move and pop and 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 it becoming, to be honest, a little more equal opportunity. And that's hard to say when Terrence had a, had a night. But, um, you know, some of the biggest plays of the game were, you know, Justin cutting uh, because we moved the ball and, and Quincy hit a three off a, off a dribble drive. Uh, that's ball movement, and that's that's patient. It's okay to shoot a shot uh, with under ten on the shot clock if it's if it's the best shot you can get. We had a couple possessions today where our ball movement was just phenomenal, and it was the extra pass. And we, you know, guys turned down really good shots to get a great shot. And so, if that leads to a three, it leads to a three. Um, I, I I'm not going to tell them not to shoot it. Coach, uh, so uh, late in the game, Terrence uh, was in the huddle, looked really fired up. Can you just talk to us about just his mindset and what's been different about him this season? Yeah, he hit his uh, he hit his funny bone. Um, but um, uh, you know, he's it's so hard to come in here year one and lead, no matter how old you are, and and then you you put him in the role of okay, you're 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 one of our dudes. And you got a bunch of young guys around you who don't know, and and uh, he's just so much more comfortable with his um, with his role as as a leader, as an established guy. You know, a year ago at this time, he didn't know he was going to be first team all league. He was just going out to to try to figure it out. And he's so much better in practice now than he ever was last year at this time. And and you know that's contagious when 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 one of your guys is. First team All League and an All American, and he's your he's one of your hardest working guys every day in practice. Brad, is Justin kind of bought into the role that you want? Just play hard and be that junkyard kind of role, or and and has he bought into that? And do you feel comfortable with him in that role? I feel comfortable with him on the court. I know that. Um, you know, I think his role will. I, I think all of our roles are are undefined yet. I think we're growing in them. Um, simply because I don't know him yet. I, you know, tonight was better at understanding that, and you, you kind of, you know, there's. A, I mean, I, I made two or three substitutions tonight, and I said, Nah, that's not right. Let me just stick, you know, and and because I don't know him, and um, so um, we're, we're still defining those. Brad, Brad, would you want to do this again? Would you rather do a public charity exhibition or? I love the cause. I'm all about helping other people uh, who need the help. Uh, this is a is it was a great uh, um, great support. Our administration did a phenomenal job in a in a really quick time turning this around and putting this together. Uh, there's tremendous value in it. There's no doubt. There's also a lot of value for those private scrimmages when you can literally stop things and coach them and, and, and deal with those moments as they occur. But, uh, yeah, I'm not opposed to them. I, you know, I don't know why they call them secret scrimmages. Um, but uh, uh, there's a lot of value to this. And, and um, uh, you know, I was, I was excited to, to be a part of it.